Howdy folks, Cross Train here, coming to you from Foundation once again and the village of West Yinzer. I want to do a quick update, uh, since we just went past the century mark as far as inhabitants uh, a little while ago. Just want to kind of show you what it looks like. Maybe it can help some of you out who are struggling at around the 100 mark. How do you keep your town balanced and keep it relatively healthy and happy and all that kind of stuff. So, thought I'd do a pretty quick video and uh, let you see what that looks like. So, let us get this thing rolling and... Um, Let's get my UI back up here. So uh, here we are looking at the original settlement site. You can see that today we have um, five fishing shacks, uh, which I don't know. We can talk about sometime. I'm not. Are they worth it? I don't know. Until they fix the uh, the trading window though, that says fish are a hundred gold for fish. I ain't buying no fish, so I um, wanted to try to keep some in stock. So there we are. Anyways, here is the original uh, village. Those of you who have been around from the beginning, maybe you recognize it. Uh, maybe you won't. I have uh, moved the logging or the lumber camp and the reforestation um, shack out of here. So we just forested this up and kind of letting her sit here. So... Here's the original. I think when we left, we were just starting to develop this area here. Well, it's grown up. Um, and uh, here we are today in this secondary section. I've got my clothes producing functions over here. Um, got my manor right up here. So this is your Lord's Manor. This is how you expand your treasury you can see I now I'm up to 1100 uh, I've built two treasuries onto my Lord's Manor to get me up to 800 and then 1100 so uh, so again that's kind of nice which did by the way allow me to open my third trade window which I haven't used but it's open for the future over here you will see the bread producing food producing section that we had started earlier and uh, if you look at the, you see I still have, this is all getting ready to be planted now. I also added a second farm over here because uh, I was having a trouble keeping up with the wheat. Um, so I had to build a second wheat farm. Uh, but again, this is this section. I did buy this piece over here and I'm using this piece as a, um, yeah, let me turn these border lines on so you can see what I own inside of the yellow lines there so I moved my uh, forestry camp over here and a wood cutter over here so they're cutting and planting this section here that'll be kind of my wood supply section uh, I got another stone cutters lodge over here and then the new section that I don't think was going at all when we last left um, is this northern part of the village which is my well, there's some metals. So this is my iron, my blacksmith, my iron forge. This is where I produce my own. Uh, you can see I'm producing my own tools now. Unfortunately, nobody wants to buy them, but um, I am producing quite a bit of uh, tools, as you can see. And along this area, we also built another housing area. So hopefully most of these people that work here are living over here now. Um, but hopefully that's something that the game will do if it's not already moving people to live closer to where they work. Uh, if not, then it should be. So, um, wow, look at that happiness, 95. I got all but one villager who's looking for a church, and I think my three churches are filled. Let me talk briefly about, I'm not sure exactly how this works, but you can see some of these houses are pretty darn nice. Certainly a step up from the thatch roofs. Um, this happens as you get more villagers, I believe, that level up. Uh, I've got 30 citizens, 36 commoners, and 42 serfs right now. I think as more folks level up, these houses start to um, upgrade. So you can see them scattered throughout my several different uh, housing sections. Let's see what these guys want. They want bread. So this is a really simple one because... 
Heck, I got plenty of bread to be able to do so. I'm going to go ahead and, and I want, uh, I still haven't figured out how to get Splendor in this one, but that's perfectly okay. I think, so I'm going to do it for my people. No, for the king. Yeah, for the king. So we'll go ahead and accept this. And you can see that it's already done. So I'm going to click to deliver a quick 10 uh, 10 influence points uh, under the kingdom, which is all well and good. Uh, can't hurt. So again, you can see through my housing section here, all the way back through here, there's a lot of upgraded housing. I expanded housing over in here as well. So, so again, here we are. Uh, got 108 residents for the time being. You'll see I've turned off immigration. Uh, I did just have a warehouse go up, so I don't even remember where it is. So let me bring up my jobs panel. Uh, look through here, and I have this warehouse. Where is it? Let me see it. Where are you? Uh, I should be able to look at this. Where are you? I forget where I put... Son of a gun. We're going to have to... Oh, wait, no. I should just be able to hit the location. There we go. Okay. Okay. I put a second one over here because I've got a lot of full, uh, this area is full. And what do we got a lot of, uh, lots of tools. So let's go ahead and we're going to open slot up for tools. Get some more tools in here. What else do we need? Uh, these guys don't have much in there. We don't have much in there. Tools are in here. Yes, he's got 50 in there already, so they'll move over. And then, so we're going to need some iron as well. Iron ore. So we'll move some iron ore in there. And I think that's good for now. I'll just save it to see what, uh, what we need. And then I need to move two folks over there. So I'm going to make you a transporter. And I am going to make you a transporter. Okay. So I think that should uh, cover us. You guys are good to go. Now, um, so as you can see, I've got, it's in 93. That's pretty darn solid. I probably need to be looking at building a church here soon, you can see. Um, I've got three churches, my original over here has 30 of 30 in it. Uh, my second church I built is here in the middle village. And we've got 35 of 35 in attendance there. And then my northern church also has 30 of 30. So I literally have no space for uh, anybody else. So I probably need to be looking at building another church um, here in the very near future. But in the meantime, Let's take a look at, um, here's my people in town. There's all 108 in the jobs that they're doing. Um, so I'm going to shut that down for a minute. I'm going to bring up my jobs list. Let's just kind of look through what does it take to create. And you can see my, my resource list over here. I've got, you know, I'm healthy in wood, healthy in tools. Uh, berries has been something that I've had to work pretty hard at. I'm healthy in uh, what's that cloth? Uh, yeah, woolen cloth. Healthy in stones. Healthy in planks. Bread is fine. Um, this polished stone, I'm really not using for anything other than building. Fish, well, finally with five shacks, I'm finally getting better there and healthy where I actually carry a balance. Wheat uh, is okay. Uh, this is why I had to build another farm because I was. Uh, I was struggling to keep up with my wheat. Flour is staying ahead of the wheat curve. That's good. Uh, and bread comes from that, of course. So it's wheat to flour, flour and water makes bread. So uh, wool is good. Shirts are fine. I had to make a second uh, tailor shop to do that. Then I'm fine with the iron, with the iron and the coal, and then the iron ore, I should say, coal and the ore or the iron. Again, I had to build a second uh, blacksmith in order to accomplish 
um, not blacksmith, excuse me, a, um, yeah, uh, iron forge or a smelter in order to uh, increase my supply of iron. So what's that look like? Uh, here you can go. Um, I should have um, just one bakery. So here is what it takes to get, again, this kind of balance. And this is just at 108 people. So maybe it'll be helpful. Um, I don't need to read all these, but but you can see that you got one bakery, one blacksmith, three coal huts. Coal is pretty slow, so I, I felt like three. I had to uh, had three coal huts and two iron smelters, one iron mine. So this is the production line for tools. An iron mine, two iron smelters, three coal huts, and then a blacksmith. So that's what it takes. For the bread line, again, you can. I have two farms, which produces the wheat, then two windmills, which grind that into flour, and then one bakery. So a two, two, one ratio seems good at about 100. Uh, as far as the sheep, uh, the clothing go, I've got two sheep farms with four sheep in each farm. Um, and that feeds one. Weaver hut. I think I only have one weaver hut. Uh, weaver hut. Yeah, just one weaver hut, uh, which does a nice enough job with uh, producing uh, woolen cloth. And then I had to produce, put two tailors together to, uh, again, provide myself with the output that I needed to keep this town happy. So those are your production lines. Beyond that, I've got a buttload of warehouses. Uh, you can see. Um, here, warehouses, I tried to specialize most of my warehouses, so, like, this one is all clothing line stuff, and, um, you can see that I really could use another warehouse over here, because I'm really stocked up with a couple things. I might have an empty slot somewhere. No, nope, I don't. Not there. Um, so, you know, I might, at some point here soon, build another, uh, warehouse over in this general area. But I... As you can see, I have a whole bunch of warehouses. Uh, let's see what else. Lumber camps. I've got three lumber camps, and we're we're producing plenty of wood. Uh, the coal burners use wood. Obviously, they burn coal for charcoal. Um, so they burn wood. So even with all of that, man, I'm producing plenty of wood with three lumber camps. Each of them are stocked full with uh, with three guys, uh, two sawmills with only two people in them, and you can see my planks are extremely healthy. So that's plenty sawmills. Uh, let's see what else I have. A couple of treasuries to increase my um, my top there, and let's see small treasury stone cutter camps. You can see that I've got two stone cutter camps, and my stones are very healthy and. You look at that. I only have two or five stone cutters in one and three in the other. So that's plenty uh, for a town this size. I can always increase production by increasing those workers. Stonemason huts, I have two, and, and you can see that I really have a hard time keeping those. But then again, I think this is one of the resources that I'm trading. Yeah, anything over five, I'm trading it. So uh, I'm making a little bit of income with that. Uh, let's see, warehouses, you can see I've made a, a ton of them. Um, gathering huts, one, two, three, four, all at full capacity. And again, I could probably stand to do at least one, maybe even two more. Um, just to keep this, I like a little bit steadier balance than 62 um, berries. But again, I'm not. it's not critical at this point. have uh, two forester camps to, again, that just gives you a steady supply of of wood for your woodcutters to cut down. So I just have two right now scattered about. Uh, I have one right in here. And again, I moved one over in here. So uh, let's see. Food stalls, they're scattered wherever my houses are. So I don't have any good stalls at this point. Um, so... No, that's not true. I do have one 
goods stall, I think. Yeah, there it is, one that I'm selling shirts out of. Five Fisher Huts, as I showed you earlier. Uh, and that's, so that's pretty much where I'm at as far as um, how to balance out a town this size. You can see that I'm, I mean, I'm hovering above 90 for the most part. Um, I don't know why all of a sudden I'm getting villagers. Again, I haven't figured this out yet. My only guess is that internally this game, people do get older, so then they become uh, necessary to need uh, a church. So I probably at some point here ought to build a different church, another church as well. Um, you can see if I go up into these influences, I've checked off all these first. Um, I have 11 Splendor right now, and so I can... I can easily throw a bunch of benches and all kinds of stuff around, uh, which will increase my splendor here to get up here. I do want to get these three uh, in this one as well, but that's 50 splendor. That's a lot of splendor. Uh, under the kingdom, I have zero. I've only found one item that builds the splendor, and that is a... Uh, what is it? A wooden keep. Okay, and so you build three Splendor is just your base. But I, it's mostly for military stuff, and I don't need that right now, so I'm just kind of holding off on this. I did get the first three because that does allow you to, you can do it with zero Splendor. Then for the church here, uh, or for clergy, again, this one's pretty easy to grow uh, by building churches and pieces on churches and so on and so forth. Uh, but you can see that I am going to, unlock these and actually these are all very helpful particularly as the game moves along so that's about all um that i really just kind of wanted to share with you i did have somebody ask me a question actually about the treasury so let me tell you what i found out about the treasury what you have here you've got your your week and day counter and the time of day and all that kind of stuff uh this is actually real time so one minute of real time is a day in this game Okay, so I've just kind of watched this and to see what it is. So one minute of real time, which is this countdown here, is one day. I assume this is the amount of time that I've got in this particular build, seven and a half hours. And what you have up here is this: the top half is every completed day, completed day in the current week. So we are in day three right now. So this is two days worth of consumption and two days worth of expenses. So that's what this top part is. This is the the last completed week. So we're now in week 64. So this is week 63. And you can see in week 63, I had uh, 2,830 villager consumption. You can hover over it to see what where your money came from. Making a lot of money from bread, you can see. Uh, and then there's trade income. These are the things I'm trading and how much I made in the last final week. This is your expenses. So there's your upkeep of all the buildings that you have um, you have out there. Then you've got your trade expenses, the stuff I'm buying in trade, your territory taxes. And then general spending, this is if I build a building, then it gets charged into uh, general spending. Again, this is, we're now in day four, so this is now three days. Uh, so you can see in three days, my income over expense is 369 gold, which is not bad. Uh, last week, a thousand gold I made more than I spent so I got a pretty healthy budget right now so I can do pretty much anything I want um, as far as building as far as costs go I can expand more because again remember to expand territories um, cost 500 gold add something to your treasury but um, so I could I could easily buy a couple of pieces of land right now if I want to but right now I, I'm, I'm just trying to make sure I get a stable economy. That's why I've shut off my immigration as well, is I just want to get stable before I start growing. Uh, because all of these functions that I saw, the, whether they're clothing, whether it's food, whether it's tools, metals, all of them require a magnification of, uh, of themselves. So, again, in order for me to go to the next level, I'm going to have to build the numbers of each of these that I so two farms two windmills one bread to ostensibly feed the next hundred people 
Same thing with the with the uh, clothes here, and same thing over here with the metal. So I'm going to slowly work my way up there. But anyways, I just wanted to share what I've found so far with you guys, and I uh, hope that was helpful. If it is, drop a like, leave me a comment. Uh, if you found some stuff, if, if I'm doing something, you're going, what the heck are you doing, CT? Then by all means, uh, let me know. I'd love to learn from you guys too. So uh, if there's anyone besides me watching, if not, then hey, that's okay too. Uh, I, I Like I said, I do enjoy doing these. So uh, town's looking pretty darn good, I think. I, uh, let's just turn off my UI. And just enjoy that sight. A little bustling town in the middle of nowhere. That's grown up nicely from when we first started hanging out. So, hope to see you guys soon. Uh, I'll bring you another update maybe in several days. Yeah, a few days, depending on how much time I put into this. But I've been putting quite a bit of time recently. So, till next time. This is Cross Train from Foundation. And I will see you in the meadow, folks. Peace.